Hi guys, uh, welcome back to some more Robocraft fun with Showmofo, and uh, I've got some good news and some bad news. Well, good news is for all you Railgun fans, there is now a Railgun bot in the shop. And am I going to buy it? It's 10k. 10k odd game currency for what? Um, not gonna gonna gain any flops. I gain the slot, but that's only seven hundred and fifty. You know, um, T four rails. Uh, I suppose you get the T three electro plates and some T three armor. Hmm. It's hover and it's rails and rails have been nerfed. So, oh, oh, we'll come back to that. Anyway, check it out. Now, ha, this is where the bad news comes in. The bad news is that I recorded all of finishing off this tank. I recorded it all, and uh, and wouldn't you know it, the laptop overheated and died. And um, well, what a shame! What a shame because it was lots of fun. Actually, quite proud of it. It's not brilliant. It's got a lot of faults. Um, I ended up putting these around it to. Uh, to stop it rolling over quite so much um, I ended up originally it had higher weapons on I ended up reducing it um, to knock it back into tier 4 because it's mostly green like the underneath is orange um, but it's mostly green and it's got no electro plating on and we're at max, max flops pretty much um, well actually it's now showing that I've got that's weird I think I, I took some stuff off took some stuff off to fit some things in um, how many have I got left oh I've got a few anyway Probably put some. Uh, headlights or something on it. Not enough CPU. Huh. Got enough for one. One headlight. Um. Oh, I know that's a random place to put it. I don't like having it out on front on a ground vehicle uh, because then stuff can see you coming around corners. Um, but if I'm being railed from behind, you never know. It might do something to help obscure it a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, it's a bit tricky. I, I love it because um, I learned a lot putting it together covering up all of the stuff in here um, it's mostly prisms um, and I had to do some things to to get it right there was a bit where it had a mental looking gun out the front but it wasn't really doing well um, what I may have to do except I think it's right on the edge of four so I'm not sure I could even fill these out with orange. Um, but let's give it a go. The trouble is now, um, Electro Plate has kind of made a lot of this stuff redundant. And in this tier, what you'll probably see is a lot of guys in 
orange and pink or uh, light blue with electroplating and high tier weapons on so had this been pre electroplate I think this would have been quite spanky but it's a little bit naff for uh, what well, see look at that guy he's, he's in dark blue But I really enjoyed the design on it, and oh, I had lots of fun putting it together. I learned a lot of stuff about spacing and using prisms and tetras and stuff. Oh, the poor fella's stuck there. And um, oh, what's going on? Really not. This is the other thing I discovered. I'm really not used to uh, playing with ground vehicles anymore. I spent so much time in the skies. It's a little bit weird for me. Uh, I've got to get used to it again. There we go. Let's see if we can get a shot. No, is he down? There we go. We've got somebody over here. Got a couple of them, actually. Let's get behind this rock. Ouch. Oh dear. Rolling away. Rolling. You can probably see a load of the spaced armor in there. Now let's eject. Let's get out of here. Oh, and dead. So, I'll take a little bit of time to get used to this fella. Um, but if this guy had been done out in black um, bearing in mind when I started putting him together I think I'd made just uh, I'd got myself back up to having over 4 million uh, RP and I spent a huge, well, I didn't spend a huge amount, but I bought a huge amount of green to go on this guy. And, um, you know, if I'd been doing that in black, I don't think I'd have even had enough to kind of do it. At some point, I might just fill this guy out in black, you know? Um, it's absolutely, absolutely, uh, Love the kind of shape of it. I'd love to have this in um, covered in bits of electroplate and stuff like that. Although that would kind of take away from it, um, and I'd need a lot more CPU. But yeah, really, really enjoyed the process of making it. Now I've just got to get to grips and see if I can make it kind of viable. See if we can get any kills. Well, isn't this nice? Seeing lots of people saying good luck and have fun. Awesome stuff. One of the trouble I've been I've been having with this guy driving around and having battles where I don't even get to see an enemy. You know, I'm used to just zooming around in my plane and uh, not having a care in the world and taking loads of people out.
Alright, let's get out of here. Thank you very much. Now, has that guy been destroyed? No. Oh, it's a different guy. Or is it? Not sure. There you go. You can have a good look inside. What a lovely standoff. There you go, last weapon gone. Bye bye. <laughs> awesome stuff, awesome. Yep, there you go, get a good look inside. At how he's made. All kinds of spatial fun there. Um, prisms, kill the gun share. What gun share? Oops, oops a daisy. Let's just gently careen down here. Ugh. Sorry, career. Let's flip him again. Wee! Yep. There we go. Okay, we'll wander off somewhere if we can. Really turn. It's a bit back heavy now because he's had all of the front shot out. Excellent stuff. There we go. Right now, is there a gun chair somewhere that I have to worry about? Yep, so, I don't know if you can see in there very well, but all kinds of fun with this guy um, making that so that it, the armor degrades really nicely on it. Somebody firing at me there. Where was that coming from? Hopefully, if he's up in the sky, he's not seeing my pilot seat because he might have a good shot at that with all the armor disappearing out the front. Oh, what a fiend, what a fiend! Oh no! Really snuck out of nowhere and escaped. Let's get out of here. Let's not. Oh, <laughs> nearly. He couldn't just let me win. What an utter, utter fiend. Oh, that was shocking of you, sir. Shocking of you. Ah, oh, terrible stuff. Couldn't just have a lovely victory. Still a reasonable amount of points. Yeah, so a lot of this, it looks like uh, square blocks, but in fact, the majority of it is just prisms. And um, yeah, I'm really rather quite happy with the design on it. Like I say, it's a shame it's up against guys in higher, higher value armor and covered in electroplate, you know, but 
this was definitely um, an exciting thing for me to do, to have the CPU to do this. Um, just would not have been possible at all. Um, you know, just, just a, a short while ago. And now I've figured out how to do this kind of build. Um, you know, I've never really sat down and been bothered about making a flatbed before. Um, but I'm probably going to have to do it for my my higher tiers. And to get something like this in in black out on the field, um, and presumably by the time I've got the money and the time to do that, I'll have uh, gained some CPU. Oh, possibly the wrong manoeuvre there. Let's just keep going. Lost all weapons. What a shame. Well, there you go. You can see a bit more inside him now. Now, it doesn't bother me too much, this. Um, because at some point this will be... If not this vehicle, I'll have another vehicle that's like this, but in black. I'm just going to try and escape up here. No. No, no, no. No escape for me. Oh, look at that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I still really, really, really need to work on my, uh, on the ground kind of, uh, oh, what's happening? My gameplay for ground vehicles. Okay, so, let's try and uh, come in behind some guys. Let's follow in a bunch of people. Whoa. That's a bit weird. back around this way. Okay, we've got him. There's somebody else down here. Oh, there's somebody shooting this way. Where were they? Good stuff. Well done, sir. Oh, I've lost a weapon. Shame, lost one of my big ones. 
Okay, where are misses? Is there a flying... Oh, revenge. Should probably be moving. Yeah, I'm going to have to move a bit. Where's he gone? Ouch, there he is. Oh, he got me. Oh, dear. What an utter fiend. Really shouldn't have stayed still for that, should I? Again, it's just... I'm not used to this at all. We'll get there. Oh, lovely stuff. Oops, sorry there for hitting the mic. Okay, let's go and have a wander around on this. Somebody shadily off the map there. Ouch. Oh, somebody right in front of me as well. Stuck on top of him. Never mind, shoot this guy. Or not. <laughs> oh. Terrible, terribly distracted then. Oh, I've really... Um, got to get used to. Of course, when I'm in a plane and I'm flying around, um, I can effectively stop moving um, because I glide and then glide and dive. Excuse me. So I'm kind of used to uh, easing up off the controls while I'm shooting. And also, you know, flying around, you know, you just kind of gliding, dropping, um, and then just slight movement and a little bit of thrust, you know, uh, a little bit of thrust goes a long way. Whereas with this, um, you kind of have to, kind of have to remember that if I take my hands off the controls, I'm effectively a complete sitting duck. Now what I might do is go and race out and see if I can get into that little hidey hole position behind this rock. Oh, somebody else. Oh, sorry sir. Good job you didn't flip. But you've ruined my plan. I should have already been hiding behind this rock by now so that people would uh, come around the side of me, hopefully. See, there's a plasma tank there, yep. He's raced on past, though. Oh gosh, I'm running into the nest, aren't I? Load of them on defense. 
really should let the guys with electro plate run in first. There you go, though. Check out. Got a, got a kill. And uh, if you see my uh, armor degraded rather nicely. If I could just get my uh, gameplay down, I think this would be very effective. I'm just, I'm so used to flying now that this is a whole other ball game that I've got to kind of get to grips with. Um, but once I have got to grips with it, I think um, this will be a fairly efficient machine. And once I get a bit more CPU, then I will be building something similar to this. Um, in, I believe, all black with lots of lovely weapons on it. And uh, maybe extend it out or something. Do a similar design in all black. Oh, just full of T10 goodness. Now, of course, um, you'll notice this tank is called Mr. Tank. Um, and and th that's just a temporary name. That's just so it didn't say empty after the uh, lovely little happy face that was on there. Um, so, because I've got 500 subscribers... And uh, I was thinking about what I could do. I thought I'm going to give you guys a chance to name this craft. So, if you guys want to leave comments and give me your ideas for a name, I will pick either um, in fact, you know what? What I'm going to do is Oh, oh, somebody behind us as well. And I'm running into the enemy. Chant to you guys really isn't going to help me. Let's go for the easy one, the one with the lad electric plate on. Oh. Let's go. Run away, run away. <laughs> no. No. Save me. Save me. Let's get out of here. Don't stay still. To stay still is to die. Oh dear, dopest. Dopest there took me out. In his fiendishly simple hover. Oh. If only I'd made this before electroplating came out. Be a whole different ball game. Yeah. So, I'm going to pick a name from the first 10 I reckon and what I'll do is I'll either pick the the name I think is the best and most suitable and if I can't decide then I shall roll a die 10 and so the first 10 and of course, you know, I'm not going to name my thing, uh, my Mr. Tank, anything that is uh, offensive or, you know, rude or unfriendly. Uh, so, but if you have a good idea for a tank name for Mr. Tank. Then comment below and if yours is 
one of the first ten, then uh, I'll either pick the one I like the best and explain why I like the best, or I'll just roll a die ten. And choose one at random. Okay, come on. Well, well, thank you. Ouch. There we go, let's get out of here. No. Ouch. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. Let's go down here. And get stuck. Oh. Oh, dear me. Railgun guy on me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's not much of me left now. So, let's eject. Oh. Okay, and also, as a special treat, and uh, because I definitely don't want my laptop to overheat and uh, destroy this video as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one more battle and then I'm really, really going to leave it there. And then I think I'm going to be having a look at the possibility of um, delving into some... Um, streaming stuff. I'm going to have a look at um, what it's going to take, uh, whether I can do it from this laptop, whether I'm going to have to set up on a different machine. Um, I'm probably going to set up something and do a test stream at some point. Um, so, oh, excuse me, sir. Is it pleasant or pleasant? I'm not sure. You know what? I'm not sure. So, uh. I'm sure. Type what I do know what to spell. Alright, now let's not stay still any longer. Alright, we're shooting good stuff in the sky. Oh! I hope it's not a rail, rail ledge kind of guy. I hope it's, hope it's something else. Uh, there's a rail guy somewhere. Oh. 
Well, he's down. A plasma bomber over there. Oh, I think that rail guy's found me as well. Missed there. Now flip before the rail guy gets me. Thank you. Oh, he's taking a shot. Hopefully he's busy recharging and probably coming up somewhere else. That's nasty. Where'd that rail guy go? Who the hey ho's this? Oh, and a rail as well. Come on, guys. Where did that? Where did that chap go? With the rails, there wasn't much of him left. I wanted to get him. Okay, head on it. Head on at this guy. He's got plasma in all kinds. <laughs> I've got one gun left. And dead. Well done, Solid Dan. Well done. And well done, you, Brazzles, for hanging on in there. Yeah, a similar chap to me. A proper, proper tank. None of this, uh... Oh, this electroplate business. Good stuff. Okay, let's see where we're up to. Oh, oh, I think I've got time for one more, don't you? Yes. You know me too well, don't you? I enjoyed that far too much. That was far too good. Starting to get into it now. Oh, and look at this. Nearly level 66. Oh, awesome stuff. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to be up against the T3 Mean Machine, as well as a Candy Floss truck. Although, in fairness, we've got an Ice Cream truck. Apparently, Plasma is OP. So, let's worry about the plasma, hey? And of course, at some point, you know, I could always swap out the weapons on this for some plasma. There you go, there he is, busy bingo P. Which way should we go? Has anyone decided? Oh, it's just a little bit distracting, that. Sorry about that.
Oh, I managed to take out my big guns. Time to run away. Let the others do that. I've dealt some damage, got a kill. I just need to not do any more damage to myself. Ouch. So, it's just about survival now and not getting hit anymore. So, find somewhere to hide. Oh, looks like they're going to... Uh, they're going to win. Oops, having a bit of trouble steering here. It's a bit... Well, oh, I've got... Got a bit more weight on one side. No, I didn't want to go down here. That's not where I wanted to be. Okay. Let's go up this path. Team defeated. Never mind. Hope you got a good look at the inside of my craft there. Okay, and this really is going to be the last one. Um, you know, I already spent uh, an hour or so finishing this guy off, making a video that then disappeared, and then having a little cry and a lie down in a dark room about it. Um, I'm sorry, really I'm so sorry that you guys didn't get to see um, me putting this fella together. You know, um, there were all kinds of of tricky bits and pieces that went into making this um, and getting it to work properly. And uh, I really would have liked to get some more uh, orange on there. Um, but I also did like having it just look like it's all green because, you know, it's a tank and in my mind the tank should be green. But most importantly, um, it's a testament that the uh, armor spacing and the prism and uh, blah blah blah, you know, that deal with the armor, um, that it really does work. It w works exceptionally well. Um, and I'm really quite proud of this because I honestly, I didn't think I'd be building any flatbeds. I didn't think anything would kind of get me into doing that. And, you know, nice one to the guys at uh, Free Jam for making the mean machine. Um, because that, that just really inspired me to try and build some kind of nice flatbed tank thing. And I really am looking forward to having the CPU and the RP to build something like this on a larger scale in black and uh, just have loads and loads of fun with that okay guys so if you've got any suggestions for a name for mr tank then by all means throw them in the comments i'll keep it open for the first 10 um, suggestions and i'll either pick one myself because it's just super awesome or i will pick one at random on the roll of a dice Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,